Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here to the channel, thank you for stopping by and welcome. My name is Christina and today I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been loving this month of August and I've kind of broken them up into different sections for you. So here we go. So we're going to start with skincare and beauty. Now I'm not that really big into makeup because if I find something I like, I kind of stick with it and I try to keep my makeup very minimal. Um, but I did find something that I absolutely love and it is going to be these Bite Lipsticks. Now, um, which one is this? I'll link it down below. But this lipstick is really awesome. Um, I am battling like really dry skin now, especially that I'm now that I'm pregnant, I'm having eczema flare-ups and everything, and my lips are constantly chapped. So I need to find lipstick that is really moisturizing and that lasts all day. So these bite lipsticks have been really awesome, and the two shades that I have are Chai, which is a little bit more on the red side, and Sake, which is kind of more of a mauve color. Um, I don't, these are just the boxes. The lipsticks are currently in my makeup bag, so um, yeah, loving these. Now, on to more kind of skincare products. As I said, I've been having really bad eczema flare-ups, so I kind of had to change around my skincare routine, and um, right now I am currently using CeraVe products, and you can just get them at the drugstore, but I'm using their makeup removing cleansing cloths. Sorry, my puppy wants my attention. One of these days I'll show you him, but we gotta get this done. So um, I'm using the Makeup Removing Cleansing Cloths. Um, they're actually really awesome. They even take off waterproof mascara. So finding something that's still gentle on my skin, but still really works, has been really great. So I'm loving these CeraVe Makeup Removing Cleansing Cloths. And I've been washing my skin morning and night with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Now I know that they also have like a foaming cleanser, but I believe that's more for oily skin. So this is geared towards just dry and normal skin, and it's like has no fragrance, um, and it has been very gentle on my very sensitive skin right now. And to moisturize, I started using the Ultra Repair Cream. Now, this is by First Aid. I got this at Sephora, First Aid Beauty. Um, this was a recommendation by my sibling, and it has been so awesome. Um, my skin is still a little patchy and a little dry, but it's not as bad as it was a few weeks ago when I had, like, it was red, my eyes were puffy, literally my skin burned so bad, and this has been just really really awesome at kind of calming down those flare-ups as well as keeping my skin moisturized. I do apply it a few times throughout the day. Um, it's not just a morning and a night thing um, just because my skin's excessively dry right now and I do have the smaller kind of carry size of this so that I just keep in my purse. And the final skincare item that I have is just this Aquaphor. Um, this is just for those spots on my face that are like really, really patchy. So I use this and <laughs> I just bought new ones and I accidentally realized that I bought the uh, baby one. If you can see, there's like a little baby on the corner and then right on it, it says relieves diaper rash within six hours. But I didn't want to return it and I assume if it's like gentle enough for um, a baby's bottom, then it's gentle enough for my face, right? Okay guys, so now on to health and kind of food related items. Um, I thought this was a great thing to add into favorites because as you're pre it, when you're pregnant, there's just a lot of things that your body undergoes and I just thought I'd share some of the things that I've been loving. So two things that I'm loving is organic, ginger and organic peppermint tea and these ones are by traditional medicinals I don't have these teas every single day but when I'm having kind of like a little bit of queasiness or um, you know just like an upset stomach I will have you know a cup and then it does actually make you feel a lot better um, 
so highly recommend these. Um, the next thing that's kind of health related is, and you guys are going to think this is funny, but the neti pot. Um, you can probably hear it right now. Um, I've been battling congestion since I found out I was pregnant and I used to take like Flonase and all these types of decongestants that you just unfortunately can't use much while you're pregnant. So I've been using this, some water and some saline solution to help just kind of, I know it's going to sound gross, but irrigate my nasal cavity. Um, and it, it's pretty helpful. Um, this congestion still comes back during the day, but it does help with some of that relief. So highly re recommend getting a neti pot and you can just get that from your local um, drugstore. And now on to food. So I'm constantly snacking. Um, I eat a lot of small meals throughout the day, but something that I'm really loving right now are these blue diamond almonds in the salt and vinegar flavor. Um, I love salt and vinegar everything. So when I saw these, I knew that I would love these. Um, I know that they come in a whole bunch of other flavors. Um, the wasabi and soy sauce one is awesome, um, but this is also really good and something that I've really loved this month. Um, and also, I'm like, and most women are during their pregnancy, but I have slight anemia, which is I have low iron. So I've been eating a lot of iron rich foods. And something that I found that I'm really enjoying is this Smart Start cereal by Kellogg's. Now this has 100% of the daily value of iron that just a normal person has. So this, along with my iron supplement, along with my prenatal, um, I'm getting a good amount of iron. Um, so this is delicious and nutritious. And um, I have a cup of coffee every single morning, but I've been loving iced coffee lately. Um, and something that I do is I have been making this instant coffee, and I actually got this from another YouTuber um, called Seaweed. Her name is Michelle, but her channel is called Seaweed Kisses. Um, and she recommended, I know this is a huge bag, don't laugh at me, but this Korean coffee that you can actually get online. Is it Korean? It's either Korean or Vietnamese. I don't know. I can't read this. Vietnamese coffee. It's Vietnamese coffee. It's called G7 Instant Coffee. And I'll be sure to link everything that I can find or I've talked about in this video below. But I highly recommend this. What I do is when I first get up in the morning before I even wash my face or anything, I microwave or boil some hot water and put this into the water and then I'll actually put it into the freezer for a good 30 to 40 minutes so that by the time I'm ready to sit down and enjoy my iced coffee, it's ready to go. Guys, I'm obsessed. It's like something that I look forward to every single morning. So I highly recommend. So the next two things are fashion related and first are going to be these absolutely adorable and they're kind of dirty because I've been wearing them to death these sandals. I actually got these in Mexico, but um, I was able to find the link and I linked it down below so you could take a look at them. They are so comfortable. They have been so cute for summer and I get compliments on them everywhere, like nonstop. So I highly recommend that you guys get yourself a pair. Um, when you first get them, they're going to be a little tight and you want them to be tight because they stretch. So get them like exactly your size, um, maybe even a little smaller. So then that way they fit perfectly. And if you saw my video last week, you'll know that I just got a new bag, but it's already a favorite. So I needed to add it in here. It's my Louis Vuitton Montaigne in the Noir Emprunt leather. Um, a review of this will be coming in the next few months, but I had to add it into this favorites video. Next is entertainment. So in this kind of category, I would put, you know, books, shows, things to do. Um, and I have a book and a show to show you. So I just finished this book and it was really good. It's called The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Um, I typically like to read rom-com light books. 
So I really wanted to challenge myself to read a book that was kind of more of a thriller, suspense, and I couldn't put this down. I finished it within two and a half days. So highly recommend this book. And a show that I, both my husband and I absolutely loved, it's on Netflix, is called Ozark. And I'll put a uh, photo of it over here so you guys can check it out. Uh, we recommended it to my mom and my cousin. They loved it. Recommended it to my brother and he loved it. So I highly recommend that if you have Netflix, you know, just watch it. It's really, really different and exciting and um, I just loved it. And last but not least is going to be stationary slash planner slash agenda stuff. And um, I have to add this in here because hello, I'm a planner addict. Um, and it's going to be my olive Midori. No, it's not Midori anymore. My olive Tra traveler's company traveler's notebook. Um, a setup of this will be coming soon, but I didn't think I would love the olive color as much because this comes in several colors, but the leather is awesome. I love the color and I've actually really been enjoying being in this standard size traveler's notebook. It's just the right size for me. I've been using the traveler's company, company inserts and I absolutely loved it. So how could I not mention that in my favorites video? Duh. Okay guys, so that's the end of my August favorites video. I'm sorry that I'm out of breath. Pregnancy man, you're short of breath and you're just congested. Um, so yeah, hopefully you try out some of the stuff that I showed you, especially that Vietnamese instant coffee and Ozark. You have to watch Ozark. It was wonderful. Until next time guys, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.